Thank you, Lita. We all look forward to working with you in the session, and now I call upon Lita Blazajewski. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Feels good to say that. Mr. Speaker, I just want to start by congratulating you. It feels appropriate that we're here today to elect you to lead this chamber with the fact that we've just turned the corner from 2020 to 2021, the vaccines rolling out, and after a very difficult 2020, we're faced with so much new hope. So Mr. Speaker, with your election, I think there's a lot of hope in this room. And I'm just so excited to be working with you and to be working with everyone to try to build back better as we try to improve Rhode Island for its residents and for its future. You know, uh, Mr. Speaker, I couldn't help but be struck in your speech about how the story of your father really is the story of the American dream. An, an immigrant from Iran comes to this country, builds a successful medical practice, has three children that themselves become successful and prominent lawyers, and one Speaker of the House. Dr. Shikarchi, I know you're watching at home. We all wish you could be here. Congratulations and thank you. You have so much to be proud of on this day and every day. Mr. Speaker, I also want to uh, welcome and congratulate your other family mem members that are here today, Mary, John, Kevin, Donna, and although he's not here, of course, Merlin as well. <laughs> also, I just want to thank, they had to go over to their own um, swearing-in ceremony. I just want to thank President Ruggiero and President McCaffrey, uh, Leader McCaffrey for being here, as well as Secretary Gorbea and uh, Justice Skolberg. Ladies and gentlemen, I also want to thank all of you for putting your trust in us to try to lead this chamber. We have talked about this being a member-driven chamber. We want it to be. We want to work with you. We do not have all the answers. You've heard the speaker say that. You've heard me see that, say that. We need to rely upon your expertise, your background, your experience to craft public policy in the best interest of the state of Rhode Island and its residents. I also want to have a special congratulations. You know, for the, for the incoming freshman legislators, you really have an experience here that is really unprecedented, and I know we're all tired of that word unprecedented, but it's been those, one of those kind of years. Usually these days are filled with family and friends and photographs and introductions and a lot of jubilance, and this is so different. You all, because of the pandemic, only have one guest here up in the balcony, so I want to welcome those guests. And I just want to briefly, because again, of under the circumstances recognized by name, the incoming legislators, just very briefly. So congratulations and welcome to Representative Jacqueline Baginski, District 17, Cranston. Representative Jose Batista, District 12, Providence. Representative Nathan Bia, District 3, Providence. Representative Edward Cardillo, District 42, Johnston. Representative Leonella Felix, District 50, uh, sorry, 61, Pawtucket. Representative Barbara Ann Fenton Fung, who could not be here today, from District 15 in Cranston. Representative Brianna Henrys, from District 64 in East Providence. Representative Stephen Lima, District 49 in Woonsocket. Representative Michelle McGaw, District 71, Portsmouth. Representative David Morales, District 7, Providence. Representative Patricia Morgan, coming back, District 26 in West Warwick, as well as another returning legislator, Representative Ramon Perez, District 13, Providence. Representative Brandon Potter, District 16, Cranston. Last but not least, another returning legislator, Representative Mary Ann Shellcross-Smith, District 46 in Lincoln. Congratulations to all of you. Congratulations, you certainly made history. I just wanna um, uh, conclude, Mr. Speaker, with um, first, just for the people at home that are watching, I just have one simple message. We hear you. 2020 has been a year of loss, of lost health, of lost jobs, lost businesses, lost family gatherings, 
lost family members, lost loved ones. It's been very difficult. But with a vaccine here on the horizon that's gonna go right now to healthcare workers in our most vulnerable populations and soon to school teachers and our first responders and our frontline workers and soon to seniors and everybody, there's a lot of reasons for hope. We hear you, Speaker Shikarchi with his leadership has been working on a COVID task force for dis distribution of the vaccine to the hardest hit communities and also a $12.7 billion budget that sent much aid to our communities when they need it the most. Ladies and gentlemen, just a few announcements about how we're gonna head uh, going forward into this new year. It is very important that we use this time to be introducing legislation. You can go to Ledge Council and have bills drafted. We are working currently on a system to allow for electronic signing of bills, but for the time being, you can reach out to Ledge Council and get drafting. They can deliver it to you at the State House, and you can introduce it with just your name, and we can add seconds later, or you can wait until, until a future date. But for the time being, we're gonna leave the desk open for the next two weeks for those introductions. You also notice that the House Committee on Rules has been appointed. Rules are gonna be so important in this time with the potential for remote hearings and remote voting. We have to work on all this stuff. So we're gonna be spending this time getting the Rules Committee going. You can find a copy for new legislators. You can find a copy of the rules on the website if you need them. And you can also contact the Speaker's Office. A PDF can be emailed to you as well. Uh, we will not be meeting in person at the vets here until Tuesday, January 19th. But that time should be used to get your bills introduced and drafted. Once we get committees appointed and rules done, we're gonna have an extremely busy year with our committees and with, with uh, this floor. So look forward to that. And um, Mr. Speaker, we'll continue to work on procedures to try to get as much done and as safely as possible. With your leadership, we're here at the vets, spread out as much as we can, and we're gonna continue to operate in a way that is as safe and healthy for everybody as possible, but also doing the hard work that we need for the state of Rhode Island. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Lita.